Hi everyone, Angie Smith here. Um, thank you for watching and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is the weekly edition of the Melting Basket um, for the Seas collab. So week one, which was last week, was Let the Good Times Roll. It was like a Mardi Gras based theme and it was um, colorful wax, over the top glittery, glittery wax. Um, so you will see on my next video, which is my, um, what I've been warming a lot of that I did get through, um, what I still have left over. And I believe what you're supposed to do is at the end of the weeks, um, everything goes in a bucket and then you warm that last week, you warm everything you didn't get through. Um, so I have just a little bit left of the Florida citrus birthday cake, um, this one is very citrusy, more so than cake. But I did get through a big portion of it, if you can tell. Um, this is probably a good last warming in my open concept area. And then I just have two cubes left of the Born to Shine from Scentsy, which is very colorful. So let's talk about what I pulled for this week. So this week's challenge is vendor week so you're only supposed to warm one vendor and I pulled all of my L3 waxy I think it's L3 waxy wonders wax um, I have a, a big box of vendor wax that I had purchased kind of in the August to probably October range and then I never really warmed a lot through it. Um, so I do have a lot to get through. So I'm on a no buy vendor right now. And then um, I think once I get through this challenge, I'll be able to start purchasing that wax again. So I'm excited. So let's talk through what I have. I pulled everything. So I don't know how much I'm going to get through. Uh, but this is butcher knife. And I've pre-chopped a lot of this. I did chop it at one point. And a lot of these are fall scents. This is graham crackers, pumpkin, toasted mallow leaves. I can get these bags closed back up. And then I have Holiday Woods, um, which is like a peppermint vanilla. Do you see here? I did chop. <laughs> Roasted Coffee White Elephant Exchange, which is a vanilla ice cream, vanilla wafer, vanilla cookies, and brown sugar butter cookies. And it does have coffee in it because it it's a very nice coffee scent. And that's one thing I do like with these um, vendors is since he doesn't offer a lot of coffee scents, and so I like the fact that you can go through these other vendors and get scents you can't normally get in the current catalogs. Fallen Leaves, Flaky Pie Crust, and Bakery Bomb is Drums of Autumn. Pan Shot First, it's a Cider Lane, Baked Bread, and Fresh Leaves. Today's October 3rd, um, which is a Palo Santo Sugar Cookie and Toasted Mallow. Look at my nice chopping. I do have to say these L3 bricks are really better to chop than some of the other ones. Do this last. Mike Myers, uh, which is a total fall scent. Um, it's like cinnamon sugar cookies, caramel apples, and leaves. And then I have some little samples. Yeah, I'll grab those out. Rosemary Mint Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. It's a cute little like star shape. Cotton Candy Mallow Salty Sea Air Blue Spruce. So like some leaves. Cornbread Zucchini Bread Cinnamon Roll. A lot of those will probably end up in my bathroom. So I only have one warmer there. And then these are a sugared shortbread buttercream crossing, frosting Hufflepuff. Don't cross streams Hufflepuff. And country berry hot cakes pumpkin pecan waffle. 
fun. There's the last three bags of these. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but Le Leviosa or Leviosa or Levosa. It's an apple cider leaves and spice. So even though it's March and spring, I feel like I'm going to um, have a lot of fall and winter scents warming, but that's fine. Peppermint White Elephant Exchange. Um, I have actually warmed this one and it is beautiful. I love it. Um, I love the peppermint and the coffee scents. And then this one is Graveyard Leaves Toasted Mallow Granny Smith Apples. And then I have just um, three of the scoopable waxes. I have Elm Street, which is a candy corn, vanilla marshmallow pie crust. And if you're not familiar with these, these are really nice. Um, they actually do perform really well. You just, it's really soft wax and you scoop it out and you just kind of put how much you want in your warmer dish and it throws really well. So I think that one will be good. I have not used that one yet. Um, this one I did use, it was really nice. Very peppermint, very strong. Escape room. It's easy just to go wild with the spoon. And then I have a Cujo which is cupcakes at Tiffany's, Starbucks, roasted coffee, and whole vanilla beans. So I am going to enjoy a lot of the coffee this week. And it's funny because I feel like these scoopable waxes, you can't really smell them a lot inside this, but once they're warming, they're, they're powerful. So there you have it. Uh, my vendor of the week is L3 Waxy Wonders. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll uh, catch you next week when you see how they warmed.